Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Shiva Moja. In this video, we will talk about what is V2 systems and what is the meaning in the automotive sector. So in this video, we will basically talk about the different layers of communication system is being using to generate the data and to predict the next movement of your vehicle. So in this video, we will basically talk about all different kinds of communication systems such as V2I, V2P, V2V, V2D or V2X. So these are the communication layers or you can say these are the layers that the vehicle is being communicating on a regular basis and they are predicting on they are basically using these kind of data to alarm you as well as your surroundings according to their data that they are gathering and they are generating. So in my previous video we basically talk about the connected vehicle what are their challenges and how we need to develop connected vehicles in the future. So if you haven't watched that video I will leave the link of that video in the description now we will talk about the different kind of communication layer that your vehicle is being communicating on a regular basis if you are talking about connected vehicle. So first one is an V2P. V2P is basically a vehicle to pedestrian and pedestrian is considered to be a person those who are dry or you can say walking on roads. So if you are talking about the safety system, pedestrians death are basically due to the negligence or some kind of ignorance from the vehicle's owner and we have seen a great number of deaths in the pedestrian. That's why in the coming future your vehicle will be basically considered to be communicating with the pedestrian and it will alarm you as well as pedestrian about the information if someone vehicle some vehicle is reaching and your vehicle would be alarmed if some pedestrian is nearby and you must consider slowing down your vehicle second one is v2v V2V is basically vehicle to vehicle. Vehicle to vehicle is basically help in generating different kind of data such as what are the road conditions ahead you as well as is there any accident, what are the traffic situation. These kind of data will be generated by vehicle to vehicle and they will share these kind of data using V2V connections. Next one is V2D. V2D is basically uh, your vehicle would be connected to different kind of devices that are in the infrastructure such as sensor, mobile phones and another and external devices which will help in generating data and these kind of data will help in basically predicting the next step of your vehicle and how it should react to the situation surrounding itself and what are the people those who are around it are doing and how it should consider its next step. The last one is V2I. V2I means that your vehicle is communicating to an infrastructure that is being developing in this you can say decade from 2021 to 2030 and these kind of things are developing at a very good pace. Developed country are already developing it and they are basically at the final stage as well as developing countries are starting it and they are at initial phases of developing different kind of infrastructure for these kind of vehicles. So if you're talking about the infrastructure V2I your vehicle would be communicating to traffic lights, roadblocks, lane marks and using these kind of things it will basically predict and it will basically generate data that what should be your vehicle's next step and if you're talking about the last one which is v2x v2x is basically considered all the ecosystem your vehicle can communicate with it can consider to be v2d v2i v2p v2 uh, you can say different kind of v2v so all these considered and as well as all the environment that it can communicate with and this market is growing at a very good pace if you're talking about its growth by 2022 it means the next year it would be uh, valued about 357.3 billion dollar so you can see the amount of opportunity that this kind of industries have especially if you're talking about automobile sector as well as telecommunication sector connecting towards each other to develop these kind of software now we will talk about two things that i just want to let you know about in detail such as v2v and v2n these kind of systems are basically cloud and cellular infrastructure and v2v basically works in this terms of localization direction and speed that's why v2v is basically considered to be important while driving on road and it will help you in considering the road ahead you so it will basically work with the 300 meter communication range and it will basically use these, these kind of GPS as well as DSRC. If you don't know what is DSRC, in one of my previous video we talked about these things and if you want to learn about this DSRC in detail, you can basically watch that video. I will leave the link of that video in the description. If you're talking about V2N, it will basically let you know about the real time traffic situation, route and road condition. So V2V and V2N, slightly different but they are available in your vehicle and it considered to be a same system as such as V2 because V2V basically helps in all kind of such as localization, direction, speed as well as it will basically communicate with the other vehicle to get the real-time traffic data, routes and road situation 
ahead your vehicle that's why i just want to know about let you know about the difference between these kind of things and what should be v2v and what should be considered as v2n so i hope you enjoyed this video if you love this video feel free to share this video with your loved ones and if you have any kind of question or feedback feel free to comment down below till then peace